Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Let's do an unedited review on this Gourmia espresso machine. So Walmart came out with this $50 Black Friday. Now I am gonna be using my own coffee, Just a Dad Simple Sip coffee, but you can use Folgers already pre-ground coffee at a medium grind. Now earlier I did make an Americano. I did make a double shot and a double latte. Here's the filter it comes with. These are pressurized filter baskets. You have to get this notch lined up to take it out. You're gonna put your coffee right here. You can do a single shot or a double shot. All right, let's put it, there's a little notch, put it back in the filter, the porta filter. It does come with this plastic scoop. It does a good job. Since it's a two scoop, since it's a two shot, you're gonna put two scoops in. So then this can get kind of messy, but I like to kind of make it, use the other end of the scoop to kind of make a hole for it. Then get another scoop. And this is not an exact science. Oh, made a mess, always do. Should, yeah, I forgot to put it over there. With these, I typically, if you don't do it, you know, you, I make a mess. So this is gonna be a real world review, okay? I made a big mess. All right, so now we've got that. Now we gotta take it over here and we wanna tamp it. They really don't say how hard to tamp it, but give it a nice tamp. Not super hard, nice and level. It's easy to get it unlevel, okay? Make sure you don't have any coffee on these ears right here. Now be careful, these ears are just a little sharp. Okay, so we're gonna have to clean up this mess. Again, real world review. Not doing any, un, no editing other than just hitting, hitting the pause button. Okay, so did you know Samsung phones have a pause button when you're doing recording? iPhones don't. Okay, and I'm doing all of this on a Samsung S23 Ultra. We're gonna take, this is the milk jug. You're gonna take it out. Now we gotta fill it up with some milk. I've got this neat little thing. I'm using almond milk, even though it's in a 2% jug, because I couldn't use this thing in the 2% in the almond milk jug. It's battery operated. I think it's pretty cool. It's just fun to use. All right. Now you're gonna put this in here. Hardest part with this machine is lining up this notch and putting this milk jug in. Watch the display. It's gonna come alive when you've got it in all the way. So line it up and then give it a nice press in and that'll go down into a notch. The display becomes alive. Now I will give this machine credit. It's got a really nice touchscreen display and it's got this Americano. Earlier I made an Americano. It actually makes a really nice Americano. Let's do, we're gonna do the cappuccino today, but we, I've done an espresso, I've done the double latte. Now putting the porta filter in is very easy. Just kind of start off to the side here and hold the machine and just rotate it till it comes out. I do like that you can take the drip tray out to put a little bit bigger glass in. You're gonna use this lever. That's where the milk's gonna come out. It's gonna be frothed. Okay, so this is the one thing about this machine that's being a little tricky. We've got the, I had it in the Americano position or the clean. You can run some steam through it. It'll clean the uh, milk frother, but I still haven't figured out if that is minimum froth or if that is maximum froth. That's the foam you get. And that's gonna make a big difference because I've overflowed several different cups because it just it will make too much foam. It'll make like that much foam. You really want hot milk and some foam. You don't want a whole bunch, but oh yeah, the screen, the screen goes dark after a little bit, just touch it. So let's try this. Let's hit the double cappuccino. Okay, so the machine is a little sneaky. It'll sit there and act like it's not doing anything, but then the milk starts coming out. This is an automatic espresso machine, so once you press that button, it's gonna start and stop on its own. Now that looks like a lot of froth. So again, the minus, that's gonna be a lot of froth. I've overflowed about five cups. Okay, so it shuts off. That's a lot of milk and froth. Then it goes right into the double shot. And once that espresso comes around, we'll see the, the separation. You're gonna have the hot milk on the bottom and then the uh, foam, the milk foam on top. This one's being sneaky. It's taking a while for the espresso to show up. And here it comes around. Okay, lift this up, take the cup out. Again, that's a, that's a pretty big double cappuccino. 
Now you are, I have to add, um, I can't drink it like that. I have to add some sugar. I've got these little pumps. They are kind of cool. French vanilla. I had way too much sugar all the time. Okay, give that a stir. I don't necessarily like milk foam that whole much. Might be nice if you uh, had some whipped cream or something you put on top of that. But this is a really hot drink. Now, I am very impressed with how hot of drinks this makes. Let's give it a taste. Hard to get past the foam. Okay, that actually tastes pretty good. I'm gonna add a little bit more sugar. Okay, now let's give it another taste with the more sugar. Yeah, not too bad of a taste. It's definitely not bitter at all. It's got lots of milk. I've got plenty of sugar in there now. And Miss Fiona, who's on the back of my coffee bag, she always comes and helps me out with my coffee. I think it's just because she wants a treat though. So a little behind the scenes, I've used two, I've used three towels. They're extremely dirty. They got milk and coffee grounds in them. Oh yeah, I forgot about the puck. Let's take the puck out. Now be careful, that can be hot. There might be a little water in the top of it. That is standard. Now that's a wet puck. That is standard for these pressurized filter baskets. If you're used to like a dry puck, that's for the ones that have a bunch of holes in it. And again, it likes to drip, so be careful. So it does have a neat little feature, this little lever you're gonna lift up. And I take this, I take this over to my trash can. It's gonna hold the filter basket in and just beat it against your hand. And so the puck comes out because you're gonna have to rinse this out. And inevitably you're gonna get some coffee grounds in your sink. It is kind of messy, but at least you can get rid of that, that much of it. And you can see my sink is pretty dirty from all the work I've been doing with this today, getting this all nice and cleaned out. Now we can take this milk jug out and put this, but we can do a clean first. Again, I'm not gonna edit, so I got a bunch of mess down here I normally would clean up. Let's get a thing, let's do the clean cycle. Now the clean cycle can be loud. Press the clean button. It's automatic, it's gonna start and stop, but it's gonna, oops. I do this a lot, make sure you rotate this to the clean position. Now do the clean. It's gonna run some hot water through there to clean out that steam wand. Okay, and then once in a while you are gonna to want to run a single or double shot through to clean out that shower head up underneath there. You do get some coffee grounds on it, but just run, that'll run some hot water over to clean the coffee grounds off. And again, the machine is sneaky. You press a button and then nothing happens for about 20 seconds. And it's super quiet, so you're like, is it gonna work? And then it starts working. Okay, so now the machine, I consider it done. Be I normally do take a little towel. Now, that's very, very hot. I've burnt myself before doing this, but take a towel and wipe that off up there. Now it's nice and clean. Lift up here at the bottom. This is the hardest part of getting this milk jug out. Lift up at the bottom, and then you can pull out. Now I can take this and put this in the refrigerator. So while we can make drinks look really pretty and behind the scenes, you may not see what's going on. There's usually a lot of work involved and a lot of mess. Now, typically I don't show this behind the scenes because I wanna show people it can make the drinks, but I have found that I'm starting to not really show exactly how the drinks are being made. Like it, it will make a nice drink, but there is some work to it. And I do have a YouTube channel. My YouTube channel was started on showing people how to make, how to use these machines from the very beginning. And I did not know how to use them from the very beginning, but I think you can learn a lot using the machine and make and seeing the mistakes that are made. I mean, in real world, this is probably gonna be, you're gonna have a mess and you're gonna be like, well, I didn't see that mess in the video. Now recently YouTube just sent me my 100,000 subscriber plaque. And again, my videos were based on simple reviews of how to use products. I don't wanna get away from that. So here's a behind the scenes look. This is me, I'm making the video, I sit right there. I just wanted to do this video to help people and show people exactly how these videos are made. Um, that's kind of where I got my start in this real world, using products and showing people. I do vacuum cleaners, I do floor cleaners, and all my videos are meant are just to help people. So I really do appreciate everybody's support and I love making these videos. Thanks for watching.